After high school, I was going to the clubs, drinking, doing drugs. Um, I met someone and got pregnant pretty much almost right away. I really honestly looked at it just kind of like, we have a kid, this is what we gotta do. I, you know, I really didn't have the feelings of, you know, ooh, my wedding day and I mean, I remember like vacuuming in my wedding dress to like clean up the church. I mean, like, yeah. It was frustrating for me to keep the household all together and um, also try to like figure everything out and take leadership in the marriage, which I wasn't comfortable with. After I had Macy, I fell into depression. That's when I started um, going to a therapist and I just, wasn't, I just wasn't happy with anything. So I said, I don't think I want to be married anymore, and he didn't really say anything. I think I saw God as more of like perfection. And so I always felt like I needed to be perfect. And because I had thoughts that maybe weren't perfect, that like that wasn't okay. And, you know, feeling like I couldn't be good enough. So just headed the opposite way. It's just so many bad decisions and all the pain and everything I was feeling inside, I just did it with drinking and drugs and it was almost a struggle between giving them a good life but also doing what I wanted to do. I would always say, well, you know, I gotta wait till they're in bed, you know. So I was out at the bar with my friend and we ended up going back to someone's house. I remember feeling like pretty drunk at the time and I remember doing a line of cocaine to kind of sober me up. I still ended up passing out and when I woke up, there were two different guys that were on me and so I, I remember one of them saying like, you know, stay awake, stay awake and um, then I, I just remember like waking up again and my clothes were all on the floor. So. The next day, it was very weird, just like looking out my window and seeing cars drive by. It was almost just like, how can the world like move on when something like this has happened? And it did actually get to one point where um, I had like all the pills and my house gathered up, ready to like, you know, just come back home and take them all. And um, my stepmom actually, she just goes, are you all right? And I said, yeah, you know, I'll be back, I'll be back. And she, she said, well, why don't you stay for a little bit? And so I didn't do anything, but I did. I felt really guilty, you know, that they had me for a mom. I don't remember like a specific moment where it was like, okay, I gotta go back. Kristen walked in, a, a single mom, and just raising kids and not really sure where to turn, knowing that life had handed her a lot of things that were um, not going well. I knew that when I went to church, how much more peace I felt and just how you know, it just felt right. So I just made more time for God. Too often people try to change the external appearance or the behaviors. And with Kristen, she really stopped playing that game. She was more willing to um, allow herself to go and just sit at the foot of the cross and to draw near to Christ and to allow him to wrap his arms around her in a way that um, allowed her you know, to understand his love was genuine for her. Even though I might be running late or I'm doing this or I got a, a whole list of errands I need to do, I'm not going to start them until I've done my devotions. It's just you have to start with him or you'll keep pushing him aside. And it was through choices, you know. She, she'd she be the first to tell you she's not any more special, if you will, than anyone else. And the difference is she chose to and allowed Christ to um, guide and direct her steps. I'd like to finish nursing school. Um, I would like to move into our own place. You know, those are things I would like to do, but I, I really want to just hear God. I want to know what He has planned for me and what direction I need to go and, um, you know, not miss those. Even though I may have made bad decisions, I mean, I think it's more of how I'm handling it now. You know, the things I'm choosing to not go back to. And I think God blesses that. I mean, He's always there to give you a second chance anyways.